Hello and welcome to Ms. Ma's Advanced Functions class. This is 8.6, Solving Logarithmic Equations. So we're going to do this in a few different ways. We're going to use the log laws if possible. We're going to change to exponential form sometimes. Um, and just generally try a lot of, well, a couple of different techniques, not a whole ton. And these are the questions we're going to do. If you want, to, you could try doing these first. Um, so pause the video or you can just follow along with me. It's up to you. So log base x of 0 0.04 is equal to negative 2. So 0 0.04 is not a very convenient number, but um, if I put it into fractions, I know it's log base x of 4 over 100 equals negative 2. I know 4 over 100 is 1 over 25. So you can see I'm just messing around with this fraction a little bit. Uh, and now I'm not really sure what to do, so I am going to go into exponential form. When in doubt, change forms. So x to the negative 2 is 1 over 25. If I want to get rid of that negative, then x squared will be equal to the reciprocal of this, so 25. And that tells us that x is actually equal to plus minus 5. However, the negative 5 is inadmissible because... Um, it was a base in our log originally, so x is equal to 5 is the solution. The next question, log base 7 of 3x minus 5 is equal to log base 7 of 16. Now if you have the same base and you don't have anything else going on, you can actually just get rid of it and we'll equate the arguments. So 3x minus 5 is equal to 16, and then you just have to solve that as a normal algebraic uh, equation, so 3x is equal to 21 and x is equal to 7. That's the solution. So for the next one, you can see that I've actually got two separate logs and I have to put them together using a log law. Um, because they have the same base, I can do that. So here I've got log base 2 of 30x over 5 is going to equal log base 2 of 12. And now I have the same log with the same base, so I can just equate the arguments. 30x over 5 will equal to 12, so this is 6x equals 12, and so x is equal to 2. And that is a totally legitimate answer because it doesn't make the argument negative and it doesn't make the base negative, so that's a good answer. Log base, uh, uh, sorry, log of x plus a log of x squared is equal to 12. Again, I've got them separate, but they do have the same base, which is 10. So here I'm going to do log x cubed is equal to 12. And using the bunny hop out law, 3 log x is equal to 12, which makes log x equal to 4. Now we can use exponential form, so 10 to the 4 is equal to x, and x equals 1 with 4 zeros behind it. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's the solution. All right. Here is one more. Log base 2 of x plus 3 plus log base 2 of x minus 3 is equal to 4. Again, we're separated, so we want to put them together. Log base 2 of x plus 3 times x minus 3. You should put a big bracket around both of those. Is equal to 4. So log base 2 of x squared minus 9, if you expand that out, is equal to 4. Now I have a log on one side and something on the other, so I'm going to change it into exponential form. 2 to the 4, oops, that looks like an x. 2 to the 4 is equal to x squared minus 9. 2 to the 4 is 16, so this is x squared minus 9 still. And I'll move that 9 over, I get 25 is equal to x squared. And we square root both sides, so we get x is equal to plus minus 5. Uh, and again, we want to check to see whether or not that makes it inadmissible or not. So the negative 5, if I put negative 5 in here, I actually get a negative value in the argument, and that's not allowed. So x equals negative 5 is inadmissible. You always have to check if any, anything is inadmissible. So we know the answer is x equals 5. Okay, so that's all the questions we have for this section. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.